This is my final buffer free print uh, setup with the MMU 2S. Uh, I designed this new spool holder now and these uh, fenders. Uh, and how this works is uh, these fenders have that uh, roof shape design with that angle. So if the uh, filament gets pushed out uh, up here, uh, the, this angle will just center the filament uh, over the spool so it will not jump over the sides. Although it, it really can't anymore since I, ha I designed it where it is uh, enclosed like this. Um, and then the uh, filament, when it gets pushed out, it will just relax a little bit, the first two layers of the roll. The rest of the roll uh, stays intact, it's totally fine. And um, it cannot jump uh, over the rim since uh, the uh, PTFE tubes right here um, are coming in almost to the rim of the spool itself. So uh, there is no physical way to that the first layer jumps over and I never had that problem. But I actually, uh, uh, to test it, I forced it and had it uh, go over on the back. And then it, uh, when it pulls it back in, it just uh, pulls the filament back over the, the rim. Um, like uh, a tire machine does the same uh, when it puts the, uh, the rubber tire over the, uh, the alloy rim. And uh, yeah, this works great. If you want to uh, download these files for this setup, I uh, have them for free to download on printables or Thingiverse. You should give it a try. Here are a few minutes how it works. The color change. And then the filament gets just uh, pulled tight again. And the next color prints. And what's nice about this setup is that the uh, Loading distances are super short with the setup because you only have uh, uh, this distance right here from the spool to the MNU. So loading can be done from the front uh, right through the PFE tubes right here. And then you can just look at these holes uh, and see where it's coming out. So loading takes only uh, really a few seconds and you can just easily replace these spools because these fenders just come off easy like that they have these uh, notch design right here so they're really st really stable up here 
and uh, it works great. I also, like I said, I removed my uh, my blade, my cutting cutting mechanism there because it's just not needed. Once you have the heat break uh, adjusted properly, you will not have any load or unload failures because they result entirely from these uh, tips getting flat by the uh, drive gear and then uh, the motor has problems to pull it out or push it back in. Once you adjust it, your uh, heat brake, you will have not one loading failure. I printed many color prints already. And uh, just by looking at the statistics, fail stats, MMU, last print, nothing. And while you had before, I always had at least. Um, 10 or 20 uh, loading fails which got resolved by the cutting mechanism but why even use that uh, if you don't have to I mean you just set yourself up for failure try this out <laughs> 